The 2A championship on Saturday afternoon in Laramie had a couple of teams with a combined record of 18 and 2. Bighorn last won a state title in 2013. Grable's last championship in football came way back in 1960. The Buffaloes of Grable would strike first as Riley Hill will spot Dawson McEwen, and he can do whatever he wants. Right to the end zone for a touchdown on a play that covered 33 yards, so Grable took the lead at 7 zip. Bighorn would answer later on in that first quarter thanks to their running game. Colton Williams rips off 62 yards for this TD, and that was the beginning of a huge day for him. So that knotted things up at seven all. Grable retook the lead in the second quarter on a plunge from the doorstep from Dawson for Selim. The Buffs on top 14 to seven and really had Bighorn on their heels at this juncture. The Rams had a long, long stretch of bad field position, but Colton Williams got his team right out of the doldrums as he gets free. He cruises 86 yards along the near sideline for the TD. See, even the game at 14. Williams had 263 yards rushing in the contest on 32 carries. In the fourth quarter, Colton Bates had a 26-yard interception return for a touchdown to put Bighorn in front 21-14 and back that up with this interception, plus a return of 31 yards all the way down to the Grable 23-yard line. Kate Eso gave his Bighorn team a big boost with this TD from 10 yards out. He bounced off three tacklers to get into the end zone to make it 28-14. So the Rams in control through the fourth quarter, but Grable would not go away, that's for sure. Fursella gets to the end zone for the second time out and the lead down to 28-20, but that was as close as the Buffaloes would get. The Bighorn Rams cap a one-loss season with a 28-20 victory over Grable to win the 2A title on Saturday in Laramie. The Buffaloes finished at 9-2. Their two defeats were by a combined nine points.